Oh, I love that song. Back at One, just one of the many hits from singer, songwriter, and producer Brian McKnight. The multi-platinum artist is in New York City for a few shows at City Winery, and he joins us live this morning. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. It looks really cold there. Ah, uh, and it is. So I hope you are <laughs> ready to bundle up. But you're a New Yorker, yeah. aren't you? You were born in Buffalo? I, yeah, but that, we left that was a long time ago. and moved to Florida. So. <laughs> <laughs> there was a reason for that, right? There was a reason. You know what? Wizard. I will never tire from hearing that song. Uh, I mean, that, your older hits, you know, they really are. They're, they're classics, right? I mean, they're timeless. So why do you think it is that so many of your songs have stood the test of time? Uh, if I knew that, then I'd bottle it and I would sell that to everybody <laughs> who was trying to do this. I, you know, I, I think it's really simple. Um, 90s music uh, and the music that came before it is it's just classic in the sense that it was all about love. People are still looking for love. People are still trying to find it. And that's what most of those songs are about. Um, not to knock today's music. I think today's music is great. It's just mm -hmm. lacking the, it's lacking that kind of empathy and sympathy. Um, so I think that's probably part of the reason. I, I'd like to think it's also because, you know, the music really is that good. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is. Yeah, it is good. I mean, even our the gentleman that's here working on our floor crew this morning is dancing to your songs. But you know, your oh, yeah. latest your latest single uh, is Faithfully. I want our yes. listeners to our viewers to uh, listen in, and then we'll talk right after we listen to it. Take me. Wow. You know, some of the lyrics is every time you hold my hand, I come alive, feels like a hundred million butterflies. What's the inspiration behind that song? Have you seen my wife? There she is uh, right yes. there. Yes. Uh, she's she Filipina, so I know that. <laughs> well, she's half Hawaiian. So I, I, she's, yeah. she's, yeah, that's, it's, she's, she is everything to me. She is, uh, she's been my inspiration since the day we met. Every song that I've written oh. since the day we met has been about her and about our love and um it's 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 an, it's never ending we we met 10 years ago and it's just better and better and better and better and better you know what i find that every time you speak of her you just glow you just glow <laughs> and this is... i know you got me out of you got me out of bed with her so now i'm like ah, let's, you're let's, like hurry up get this interview done <laughs> wow she's like en endless inspiration so will that song be on your next album possibly you know, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to release another album. I will always probably release singles, but, mm -hmm. you know, as they come to me, I'll, I'll put them out. But we'll see. You know, uh, you can never say never. So your last collection was the EP Remix, which brought a dance vibe to some of your songs. So what made you want to do right. remixes? So the Terry Hunter, who was the, the DJ that did that, he wanted to do it. And I listened to some of the other stuff that he had done, and I, I thought it would be very cool for once in my life to, to, to have people walk into a club and hear a Brian McKnight song, yep. since that's never happened. So I thought that might be pretty cool. <laughs> and, and then back in the day, you also teamed up with uh, late basketball legend Kobe Bryant for your song, Hold Me. What do you remember uh, from working on that song and that music video? Uh, I think just his passion, just for life. Yeah. Obviously, this was the, his second year in the league. Um, he was trying to become a rap a rap star at the time. Uh, unfortunately for the rap world, the Lakers won the championship three years in a row after that, so it, it put his musical career on hold. But uh, we became friends, got to see him at a time he was he was just sort of starting, and I'd like to think that. Um, you know, got to know him at a time before he got so huge that nobody could get, get near him. But fantastic guy. It's just really surreal that he's gone, but mm -hmm. he left a legacy for us to remember him by. Yeah, he certainly did. And you are leaving a legacy with all of your wonderful music. <laughs> now, you're currently touring, and you're going to be yes. at City Winery here in very, very cold New York City. <laughs> right. so, so what's it like to be back on the road again since the pandemic, especially? I think it's great. I think people may have been taking a lot of us not for granted necessarily but you could see anybody you wanted before the pandemic um now that we're all sort of back or some of us are back you can see how grateful folks are for now realizing that <clears throat> it can be taken away so i think people are more enthusiastic they're coming out in, in bigger droves than i think they ever have because who knows it could be taken away again so it's been Absolutely. it's been very very interesting to be back on the road well, Brian, it was so great having you on the show. So nice to meet you. And we are so grateful for the music that you have shared with us over the years and look forward to new music, hopefully, in the future. 
Thank you so much. See you guys on Sunday. All right. So Mr. McKnight, he will take the stage at City Winery this Sunday at 6 o'clock and 9.30 p.m. Tickets are still available at citywinery.com. What a class act. My gosh. Isn't he, though? Oh, my goodness. And his music. And I oh, think he girl. was he was right on when he said that 90s music, it, it, it just has that certain sound. Like, I may not know the name of a song, but I'll hear it on the radio. Radio, huh? Brings and you I'm back, like, right? That's from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> All right.